Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Pain Capital Management, along with our chief investment officer, the man with the plan, and it's my dad, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking on this? I don't know. I think it's like the ninth week of quarantine. I've lost track, but uh, you are on your last leg there down in Florida. Coming up to Jersey soon. We're waiting for you, man. I'm busted out, Rye. Monday morning, first flight out. I hope nobody. I hope there's no one on it, so I have a private plane. I suspect it's probably going to be pretty close to that. So uh, you know, it's definitely not going to be like the airport used to be for sure. Well, I got my Clorox wipes. I have my mask, my gloves, my booties. I'm all set to go. I'll see you. Uh, I'm going to see you tomorrow. Looking forward to it. We get to uh, hang by the beach and uh, talk about life, the economy, investing. So that's what us pains do. <laughs> what could be better, buddy? What could be better? What could be better? We have a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about the most dangerous words in investing. What are they? And why you need to avoid them at all costs during the coronavirus market crash. We're going to talk about post-coronavirus retirement planning. These five steps you need to take right now to avoid running out of money in a post-coronavirus world. We're going to get you prepared. Along with this week's financial propaganda, there's the good news, the bad news the media has been propagating this week. Bob and I are going to call it the winners, losers, and what you should actually be listening to. Along with this week's spotlight, we're going to have our certified financial angel. Jen Angel is going to be on the show this morning. She's a financial advisor, paying capital management, and she's going to review and break down someone's real retirement plan for you. So let's hop to it. Hey, this is Ryan Payne. For all our podcast listeners right now, it's a crazy time. It's extremely volatile, and you're probably thinking to yourself, what should I be doing with my portfolio, my retirement plan? What changes should I be making? What we're offering right now, if you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, put together our financial planning game plan. You simply need to go to www.paincm.com slash game plan. What we'll do is do a full analysis of all your portfolios, we're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal. We can start looking at all those critical things. You know, what kind of income are you generating? What kind of diversification do you have? What kind of protection do you have in your portfolio? We're going to break it all down for you. We're going to run some retirement projections, start looking at what you should be saving for retirement. What have you saved for retirement? When do you want to be financially independent? We're going to answer all those questions, put it together for you. And we're going to do it for free. Simply go to www paincm.com slash game plan. That's www.paincm.com slash game plan. During these volatile times, why are quarantining? We'll build you that personalized portal. We'll figure out where you should be going, what changes you should be making to your portfolio. So take advantage of it. Simply go to www.paincm.com slash game plan. We'll put together a game plan for you today. It's time for Financial Propaganda of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call it the best advice, worst advice the financial media has recently been broadcasting because we want to protect you to make sure you're making good financial decisions. And Bob, man, so much going on every single week. And you and I just, we're like sponges, right? We try to read everything. And I mean, this has been a pretty crazy week. And we had a big bounce off the bottom in the market, getting a little sell, more selling this week. and man, I think everyone's trying to figure out here, are we going to see another big leg down in the market? Is the market going to recover? Is the economy going to recover? Like, what are you seeing out there? What good news, bad news have you seen? Well, first of all, Ry, you know, we always say financial propaganda is egregious and there's no one more egregious than these billionaires that they put on, you know, <laughs> CNBC and some of these other business channels. Either they're billionaire hedge fund managers or they're billionaires on their own end or they're managed billions of dollars in some other former fashion, they're not on TV to tell you how to make money. They're on TV to protect their money. So a lot of times they're telling you, oh, here's what I would do. And they're doing the exact opposite. And they're under no obligation to disclose that. And it drives me crazy. And they're using you. They should be put in media jail. They should be on television. <laughs> no, it's come out with a couple of hedge fund managers. That guy, Bill Ackman, is a good example of that. He was talking very negatively about the market as it was going down. And little did we know, he was actually betting against the market. 
So to your point, Bob, I mean, it's a complete conflict of interest. And whenever you see that, oh, this billionaire said this is going to happen or that's going to happen, I, I would just avoid that at all costs because to your point, they're not interested in helping you. <laughs> that's a very good thing to remember. No, it's almost like their attitude is, well, you know, we took risk and we made all our money and now we have ours. We don't want you to have yours. I mean, it's like I worked really hard to earn all this money. You, on the other hand, eh, you didn't probably work so hard. You don't deserve it. So, you know, I just tune those people out. They're on, turn the channel, go, go to Netflix, go to Hulu, go to Apple streaming TV or something, but don't watch these billionaires on the financial news channels. Another thing, Bob, we talked about earlier on the show today and something that we think about is like, what are the next 10 years going to look like when we're building portfolios for our clients? And you sent me an article actually from one of your favorite economists, Jeremy Siegel, who is an economist at the Warden School at Penn down in uh, Philadelphia, where we're from. And we, as we joke, if you went to Penn and you went to the Wharton School, you got to let people know right away. So I'm sure I offended some listeners right there with that. But Jeremy Siegel had a, had a great quote last week talking about how the government's printing all this money. And he has to think at some point with all this money now in the system, we're going to start seeing inflation in the economy. And as an investor and as someone who's trying to plan for retirement, it's so, so important that you set up your portfolio to actually deal with the fact that things are going to cost more in the future and probably at a, a rapid, more rapid pace than we saw the last 10 years. I mean, that's the thing, right? And a rap against Dr. Siegel has been, you know, he's a perma bull. He's always bullish. He's always talking about things being really good. And that's not true. I've been reading and I've known him for years. I've read everything that he writes. And there are times where he says, hey, it's, it's time to be, you know, a little bit careful, be very cautious. He's not always bullish. But uh, I can tell you right now, he's uh, calling for the end of the big bull market and bonds. It's been going on for 40 years. And he says, we're never going to see rates this low again. And I, I think I have to believe him. And I think he's absolutely right because everything our government's doing right now is going to create inflation. And you've got to be aware of that. You've got to build your portfolio accordingly. Yeah. And I think it's important right now. We talk about this at nauseum. If you listen to our show, you know we hate bond funds. And if interest rates start going up, and bond prices start going down since they're inverse related is you don't want to be in a bond fund. We've talked about this a long time. There's no maturity date on a bond fund. If you have them, you should be out of them. And I think it's important, Bob, only because when you're investing your portfolio, you have to start thinking about what the economy looks like when it bounces back. And when it does, interest rates most likely are going to start going up. I have to agree with you, Rod, because the Federal Reserve didn't just lay out a little bit of money or shoot their bazooka, right? They carpet bombed <laughs> the economy with fiscal and monetary stimulus. Um, so we're going to see a lot of that money find its way into the market ultimately. Uh, so you want to make sure you get your fair share. You want to you, you be in a position to win. And one of the things that's going to happen is it's, it's going to bring back inflation, but it's also going to inflate assets. And I think the Federal Reserve will wake up, welcome that. That's what they want to see happen. That's why they're making these moves. And Dr. Siegel's telling you, this is what you need to do to participate. Yeah, because we talked about this earlier in the show, but it's so important, is you've got to invest your portfolio based on the future, not based on today. And in the future, the economy is going to start recovering again. People are going to be doing business again. People are going to be out and about again. It's already starting to happen. And you need to account for that now, not what's happening right now, not the fact the economy is shut down right now, you know, the negativity that you're hearing right now about the economy and everything else, it's old news. It's, it's, just not, it's not surprising. You know, the economists were so good that they predicted all these things were going to happen months ago, and it's happened just like they predicted. So as dire as the news is, you have to remember, this is not a surprise. And just like the reopening of the economy, it's not going to be a surprise, but you got to prepare now. You know, Ryan, I watch what's happening with the coronavirus. There's over 100 companies working on you know, either uh, some kind of therapeutic or, or some kind of vaccine. But we have phenomenal brains around the world that are working on medical technology. And, and what's going to happen is they're going to come out with even more discoveries. You know, they're going to discover things that they'll learn inadvertently while they're trying to cure this coronavirus. And that's what's, what that means to you is you're going to live longer. You're going to have higher inflation. You're going to live longer. It's cost of living is going to go up. And you got to plan right now. You can't worry about the short-term volatility. You got to worry about the long-term viability of your portfolio to sustain your life and your family's life going forward. Because the last I checked, buddy, the world doesn't end very often. 
No, it doesn't, but you have to have the right paradigm shift. Um, you know, you have to have the post coronavirus strategy. It's different than we did the last 10 years. And I think most of you know that you've got to put that plan in place. And now's the time to do it, to make that shift and start thinking about the next 10 years. And I don't care if you're a baby boomer who's getting close to retirement or retired now, or even if you're like a millennial generation Xer, um, it's really time to plan differently and make some different moves with your portfolio and your retirement plan that you wouldn't do normally. You're probably asking yourself right now, like, what changes do I need to make so I can win over the next decade? I'm putting the right decisions to place in my portfolio to combat inflation, build a real income plan for retirement. Well, look, here's your shot to do it. We still have five slots left. If you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, myself and Bob will run for you our total financial master plan. We're going to do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we look at everything. We set up a secure email. All you need to do is send us your statements through that secure email. We're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal so you can get a full audit of your financial life so you can start making really good decisions about your game plan for retirement. We're going to look at all those critical components. We're going to break it down for you. We're going to look at income. You got to have an income plan for retirement. How are you going to draw from your portfolio if you're retired now? If you're going to be retired, you need to put that in place. You need to figure out exactly how you're going to draw from your portfolio. We're going to show you how to optimize the income and build an income plan for life so you don't run out of money. We're going to look at diversification. Did you get hit really hard in this huge pullback in the stock market? You probably did. Let's not make the same mistakes twice. We're going to show you how to protect your portfolio against the downturn, safeguard it, so you have a portfolio that's bulletproof for the long term. And we're going to look at fees and taxes. Yes, there's a lot of hidden costs in your portfolios, especially if you have accounts everywhere. Let's put it all together. Let's see where we can actually reduce cost on your portfolio, especially those hidden fees you don't know you're paying, along with optimizing for taxes. Like, this is it. This is the time to make decisions about taxes. There's so many things you can do creatively right now to put more money in your pocket from a tax perspective. We're going to show you how to optimize it all, tie it all together into one total financial master plan, and determine that very, very critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, we have literally worked on for 45 years. We've been honing in our strategy to help your family get from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. And all you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. If you're one of our next five callers, you've saved over 500000 for retirement. Ryan and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but there won't be a plan unless you text or call. 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne, and I'm hanging out on the radio today with my son, Rye, and we're the pains of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. So, Bob, what are the four most dangerous words in investing? Rye comes from Sir John Templeton, who unfortunately is no longer with us. Rye, no more famous words are ever spoken by Sir John Templeton. Unfortunately, he's not with us any longer, but he summed it up when he said, this time is different. Yes, this time it's different. Four words. And the question, I guess it begs the question, Bob, you know, we have this current pandemic. It's the entire economy right now at a standstill. We have had the fastest market crash in history. So, Bob, maybe this time it is different. Well, maybe we had a, a speedy decline, but we've had declines before. We've had bigger declines before, um, but we've had very rapid recoveries. And one of the things that I know about markets is every dip in history has been temporary. The recovery is inevitable. Well, I think the hard thing to get over right now, and we've seen this over and over in history, by the way, is the economy and the stock market are not the same thing. Because we see the economy right now, the news is bad, unemployment at astronomical numbers, businesses need to reopen again, yet the market is going higher. So it's hard to kind of discern between those things, Bob. Well, they are correlated, right? right? You need a, an improving economy to have an improving stock market, but it's not a one-to-one -one correlation. You know, economic news is backward looking. It's history. It's what's already occurred. 
The market is forward looking. It's telling you what it's going to look like. It's what, what the future holds. Yeah, it's kind of like in, in more simplistic terms is the market doesn't care if things are good or bad. It's just the fact are they getting better or getting worse. And believe it or not, you know, we're starting to see slowly things getting a little bit better, right? You see more cars on the road every day when you're driving now. Uh, more people are actually going to the airport. Bob got a haircut. Bob's going to the airport tomorrow. <laughs> I, I'd like to get a haircut, Bob. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm a little jealous right now. But here's the thing, right? You know, stocks really, uh, when you really think about the stock market, that's where the big volatility is. And stocks are nothing more than a claim on future profits and earnings and cash flow. And as a country, as a globe, the economy has grown over your entire lifetime. And yet, yeah, it takes temporary hits. But those hits, again, are temporary. What you need to understand here is the market's going up because the market is looking out to the future. It's trading on what the future is going to look like not what today looks like. And if you look at any time in history, Bob, again, going back to this time, it's not different, is has there ever been a time in history where people weren't resourceful, where people weren't looking for new technological advances? Like how many people have you talked to in the last couple of weeks? It was their first Zoom call. Um, they're learning all these new skills. They're getting more adept to use video conferencing. In fact, I talked to my former coach at Villanova, and he did a Zoom call with alumni that are in their 70s and 80s right now, Bob. So it's oh, wow. amazing how we're adapting to this new world. So what Already. you're saying, right, things are going to get better. They're just going to be a little different. But, you know, we had big corrections before. We had 2008, 2009. We had the 99 correction when the tech bubble burst. Um, and one thing that was universal characteristic of those decline is the Federal Reserve stepped in. It stepped in in a big way. That's right. There's an old saying, don't fight the Fed. And last time I looked, the government's thrown about $9 trillion at this problem. And if you go back to 2008 and 2009, again, not different this time, they threw the kitchen sink at this problem. And it seems to me like this time, Bob, they're throwing, I don't know, the kitchen sink, the whole house. <laughs> <at this laughs> they problem. sure are, right? That's one of the reasons you know, why you're seeing all this horrible negative news that reflects why the market did go down two months ago. As that comes out, the market seems to climb every single day because the Federal Reserve is making that happen. It's creating a cushion or a bridge so we can get to the other side when the real economy kicks in and the real ingenuity of Americans and global um, you know, entrepreneurs kicks in. And that's what you're seeing. You know, the market already sees the future. Yeah, and just to tie this back to your goals, because the, the reality of it is, Getting invested right now is about envisioning your future, right? I mean, this pandemic at some point is going to go away. I'm hard pressed to think in a year from now, two years from now, we're not back to some sort of normalcy. And you still need to retire. If you're retired now, you need a game plan for that. And you need to start doing envisioning those things now. And that's why it's important to make decisions now, because the decisions you make today can have a very positive or very ne negative impact on your financial future. I mean, that's so, that's so true, right? It's, it's such common sense, right? Because you can't predict, you know, the stops and starts of the economy and how this thing's going to impact and how it's going to recover, but you just know it's going to. What isn't going to change is your desire to retire, your desire to leave a legacy to your children and your grandchildren, your desire to educate your family. So your biggest risk, your biggest problem isn't the financial market to the economy. It's that hidden insidious tax we call inflation. Yeah, that means things are going to cost more in the future. And I'm going to be real with you, Bob. If you're getting 1%, maybe even 1.5% on your money market fund right now, you're locked into a CD at 2%, is that really going to get you to your long-term goals in retirement? I'd bet the house it's definitely not going to do that. No, you have no chance. And that's why you got to put yourself in a position to win. Um, you have to be able to beat inflation. You know, I'm not even sure where inflation comes from, right? Is there like this giant IRS in the sky, global IRS that uh, creates this hidden insidious tax that we're all, you know, struck by every day. I don't know why the phenomenon is, exists, but it does. Bob, I don't have a crystal ball, but I have to think with all the money the government's printing right now, if we go back to this, it's not different this time, that typically eventually causes more inflation, meaning things are going to cost a lot more in the future. So if you're thinking to yourself right now, I've got to get a game plan. I got to start envisioning my financial future. Well, here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $500,000 saved for retirement. Myself and Bob will run for you our total financial master plan. We're going to do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we look at the big picture, a real financial audit. All you need to do right now while you're quarantining is we have a secure email set up. You can send your statements in. 
We're going to review everything for you. Then we're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal. We get a bird's eye view of your entire net worth and we can start making good decisions about your finances. We're going to look at everything from income. You have to have an income game plan for retirement. How are you going to draw from your portfolios if you're planning to retire? If you're retired now, we're going to come up with a foolproof income plan for you so you have income for life. We're going to look at diversification. Did you get hammered when the market went down over the last couple of months? Were you protected? Did you have safety in your portfolio? I bet you didn't. We're going to show you how to safeguard, protect your portfolio, build a portfolio that's bulletproof in retirement, and we're going to look at fees and taxes. Yes, there's a lot of hidden costs in those investment portfolios you don't know you're paying. And those annuities, insurance products, those mutual funds, we're going to show you where all the hidden costs are, show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio. Then we're going to optimize your portfolio for taxes. There's so many things you can do from a tax perspective right now to put more money in your pocket. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, utilizing strategies now we have literally been working on for over 45 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. And all you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. If you're one of our next 10 callers, you've saved over 500000 for your retirement. Brian and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost but there's no plan unless you call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne, and I'm hanging out with my son, Rye. Well, actually, we're virtually hanging out uh, on the internet. And uh, we're the pains of no pain, no gain financial radio. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob, I want to make sure you're making the best decisions about your finances, your investing right now. And that's why we put together our newest guide, Coronavirus Portfolio Survival Guide. This is a great time to make some proactive moves in your portfolio. We give you a couple ways to do it. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's the word bullish, B U L L I S H, the 555. 888, that's the word bullish, to the number 555-888. We give you our coronavirus portfolio survival guide. Just a couple things you can do right now to tweak your portfolio. Get yourself in position to win when the market recovers and the economy recovers. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. So Bob, in a post-coronavirus world, you know a lot of the old assumptions about retirement planning, suddenly look dangerously out of date and inadequate. And I know for our firm, we've made a lot of decisions to retool our portfolios to make sure our clients are in a position to win. And for a lot of you right now, you know, the stock market crash might have crushed your retirement account balances and you might have taken more risk than you should have. And you're probably thinking like, what do I do right now? So I thought you and I could talk about some of the steps that we've been taking to retool people's portfolio to make sure that they're on track for their retirement goals. I agree, Ryan. I think, uh, first of all, I think everybody should have a plan based on their lives, not what these financial planners use in terms of rules of thumb. Um, you know, you're not the average person. You're unique and you need a unique strategy for your family and for your financial goals. Yes. So it should definitely be customized to you. And I think the first step, Bob, is we talk about this all the time is you've got to get that income plan in place and figuring out what you spend right now is so, so critical. And the goal would be on the other end is figuring out how do you get 100% of the income you need today in retirement? I wouldn't go with 80% because you and I found is we end up spending more in retirement, not less. Yeah, there's a lot more to do now. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's a, the greatest, uh, greatest time to be alive in the history of the, of the planet. So you know, when we're finding when our clients retire, they're not staking a step back. You know, they're, not, they're not spending less or spending more than they were when they were actually working. Yeah, and the problem now is you've got interest rates on bonds, CDs, and cash are just so, so low. So you have to be more diligent about how you're creating income in your portfolio to live off of because just sitting in a savings account right now, we talked about this last segment, just not going to cover it in this world of really low interest rates. 
Well, that's the thing. I think a lot of, of you think that the stock market's a risky place where you just gamble your money. But, um, you know, bonds pay interest and stocks pay dividends. And there's a lot of high quality companies out there that have been paying a dividend, not just for a few years, but for 50, 60 years, they've been increasing that dividend every year. So there's a lot of solid companies, a lot of ways to diversify in the stock market for income, not for appreciation. Well, I think the, the gist of it is you can build a diversified portfolio right now. Having money in a lot of different things is not an all or none proposition with the stock market that can generate a lot of current income to cover your expenses, but you really need to run that analysis because right now it's just not going to cut it in a low interest rate world to sit with your head in the sand and just hope that CD that comes due isn't going to go lower when you have to renew it. Yeah, it's like a double-edged sword, right? Like it goes both ways. You can have someone who's taking more risk than necessary in their portfolio, but some of you don't take enough risk. And when I talk about risk, I'm just talking about volatility and price change. So there's a perfect combination for each of you, and you have to run the analysis to figure out what's perfect for you. Yeah, and I would say step two of that, Bob, is because what you're going to find right now if you run those retirement projections is you probably need more money. You probably need more growth. So doing a reallocation like we've done with our clients is you probably need more stocks post-coronavirus. As hard as that sounds, um, going back to what you just said, like you get more income, you have more potential for growth, but you're going to need that more than ever now, especially given where we are in terms of all the volatility in the markets. Yeah, not just the volatility, but we're also talking about inflation. You know, some of us don't think there's much inflation, but when you look at healthcare costs, you look at all the money that the Federal Reserve has been printing, you know, uh, I think a question I get every day, right, is, well, where's this money coming from? Well, it's coming from a printing press. And printing presses, when they print money, it causes ultimately inflation that uh, we're all going to feel in the future, especially in your expenses. Yes, you need to have what we call an inflation hedge or cost of living hedge in your portfolio. And this is where we bust on annuities all the time <laughs> because they're loud, because you get this guaranteed income for life. Oh, it sounds so great. But it's the same amount of income every year, but your expenses are going to go up in retirement. That's not going to solve your problem. So what you're telling me, Ryan, anytime somebody pitches you an annuity, you ask them one question, how's this going to help me with inflation? And they'll go away because they, they know it doesn't. <laughs> They'll still pitch you on it, Bob. And it's like you said, when you buy an annuity, it's just like eating Chinese food. It feels so good going down. You know, the pitch is great and you buy this thing, but you feel so empty later. So true, right? But you know, there's some other things you can do, right? There's some ways to minimize the tax obligations you have right now. And, and one of those things would be a Roth conversion. Tell me a little bit about Roth conversions, right? Yeah. So we just talked about this. If you are hammered right now in your retirement accounts, because maybe you have them all in stock, which maybe you should have them all in stocks. It could be long-term investments for you. Well, sometimes it's better to pay the tax on that now. Just rip the Band-Aid off while the values are low. And you can end up putting that money into an account called a Roth IRA, where that money is going to be tax-free for the rest of your life. So if the markets recover, you're going to have all that growth. You're going to be able to take it tax-free. This is like an awesome time to look at that strategy. That is gonna pay dividends for years to come if you do that right right now. Yeah, because the biggest problem with a Roth conversion is that the money you take out of your IRA becomes taxable. So you have to pay tax to the IRS, but the IRS is giving you a buy this year on required minimum distributions. In other words, when you hit 72, right, don't you have to take money out of your IRA and your 401k? Right. You have to do that every single year. You're forced to pay taxes on it. You get a reprieve this year, but you can still do those Roth conversions and get some money put away so it's tax-free for life. So you and I have been harping on this a lot. Tax advantages right now are so, so good. You have to be looking at it, which plays into the next step, Bobby, you've got to be looking at, and you love this one, is harvest tax losses in your portfolio. It's an awesome way to get the government to pay for some of your losses. You know, right over my 46 years of of helping people to invest their money to their goals. And we always talk about, you know, money in the bank, you know, saving. Um, but, you know, a lot of people don't think about the loss bank. I mean, that's something that I think is just as important and a strategy you can put in place right now. Yeah, so if your accountant, your financial advisor is not talking about that, bring it up. You got to look at it. It's a huge advantage for you, which goes to the last point, Bob. Well, hold on, Ryan. You know, I just had a client call me the other day going, Bob, why in God's name do I want to put money in the loss bank? I mean, what's that do for me? So, but because you look at the rest of your portfolio, you have 400, 500, 600, a million dollars in unrealized gains. 
Somewhere down the line, we're going to realize those gains. You're going to have to pay the IRS. Wouldn't it be nice to make those gains tax-free? Well, it's even better than that because it can even apply to things like real estate. Maybe you have a piece of real estate property. You're going to sell it again at some point. Well, you can take those losses, carry them forward, even if it's five years in the future, and you'll be able to offset that completely tax-free. You can get so strategic here. It's crazy. You've got to be looking at taxes. Hey, Rye, great, great suggestions. You know, just like the Dina common sense comes through every time you take lemons and you make it into lemonade. You know, if you're thinking to yourself right now, you know what? I need a post-coronavirus retirement strategy. I need to make sure that my money's growing net of inflation, net of taxation. Maybe I do have a little too much risk in my portfolio, or maybe I'm not taking enough. You know, why sit there and wonder when you can know? If you're one of our next seven callers and you've saved over 500000 for retirement, Brian and I will go through everything for you and give you all the answers. Matter of fact, we're going to create for you your own 360 financial portal. This is a financial GPS, no different than the GPS you have in your car, except for it maps where you're going financially and reports on your progress daily on your journey to financial independence. It will define your financial timeline and the best, most efficient route to achieve all of your financial goals. It will put your financial life on autopilot and help you to avoid the financial potholes and dead ends of the typical cookie cutter financial plan you might find in a bank or insurance company. It'll track and monitor and update your true net worth in real time daily, but you don't even have to look at it. It's there when you're ready. When you have the time to look at it, it's all ready for you every day of the rest of your life. So this way you'll always know where you are financially, but more importantly, where you're headed. In addition, Ryan and I want you to take all those statements that just came in. Uh, I know you're not opening some of them. I know some of them are in the, in the drawer. We want you to scan those reports, send them to us in a secure email, because we're going to break down all of your holdings to be certain you don't have a collection of investments, that you have a real portfolio, and you have the three key elements of a successful strategy. We want you to be truly diversified across asset classes, within asset classes, so you don't get harmed in these volatile days. We want to look at the cost in your portfolio. Yes, there's lots of hidden costs. You know, the insurance companies, the wirehouses, the banks, they're famous for creating hidden costs. We have x-ray vision. Actually, we have tools that will x-ray your portfolio and tell you exactly where those costs are and how to eliminate them and put more money in your pocket. And lastly, income. Income is so critical to a successful investment strategy. You know, once you retire, you don't want to get that paycheck. We got to fill that gap, that retirement gap with repeatable, dependable income. And once you retire, there's one goal, and that's to keep it that way. And that's where income comes into play. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan. Well, we'll answer that age old question. Are you and your family going to outlive your money? Is your money going to outlive you? utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over four decades. Can you believe it? For almost 47 years, we've been helping families just like yours get from your financial point A to your goals, to your dreams, to your point B, with the least amount of risk and only the certainty that a fiduciary like Payne Capital Management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844 752 6692. If you're the next seven callers, you have over $500,000 safe for retirement. Call or text at 844 752 6692. That's 844 752 6692. While you're quarantining, we've set up a secure email to send us your documents so we can build you a portal at 844 752 6692. Here's your shot to get that second opinion. Make sure you're on track at 844 plan. NYC. That's 844-P-L-A-N-N-Y-C. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. And Bob and I want to make sure you're making good decisions right now, given all the volatility out there in the stock market, the economy. And that's why we put together our latest guide, our coronavirus portfolio survival guide. We give you different steps you can take right now, simple steps to make sure you're setting your portfolio up correctly, making good decisions during this uncertain time. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. We give you our new coronavirus portfolio survival guide. We give you a couple different ways. You can optimize, take advantage of the uncertainty right now, set yourself up 
So you're in a position to win. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish, 555-888. And if you want to learn more about myself and Bob, you can check us out on the World Wide Web. Go to bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. You can actually subscribe to the show in a podcast form. You can have it emailed every week into your inbox. You can check out what Bob and I think. But most importantly, Bob's hair is real, but you got to check it out for yourself. Go to bebullish.com. You can also learn more about our firm, Paying Capital Management, what we do and how we help clients get to their goals and achieve their path to financial independence. And uh, you can catch most of our advisors on all the major networks every week from Fox Business News, CNBC, Yahoo Finance, with our latest thoughts on the economy and the markets. And if you ever have a question for myself or Bob, you can always email us directly. Simply email us at questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. Bob and I answer all your questions directly. And if they're really good questions, we answer them right on the show. And because we got great questions this week, we have our man in the studio, Dan Irving, helping us with questions. Ooh, that was a lot. Dan, it's shaking, my man. I hear you're uh, chilling in North Carolina recording an album right now. That's true, Ryan. I uh, just uh, had a staycation here and I spent it finishing up an album that my band's been working on. So hopefully that'll come out sometime this Very year. Very nice. Soon. Yeah. So Dan, besides studios, what else is open in North Carolina? There are some restaurants, but it's still only takeout and delivery. That's a good start. I'll take that over. Uh, nothing's open at all. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, we got some great questions today in the mailbag. Our first question is from Rebecca in Forest Hills, Queens. And Rebecca says, Bob, I'm nervous about how much money I have in the stock market. What is the right amount for me to have invested in my late 50s? You know, Rebecca, as soon as your email came in this week, I grabbed it for the show because Ryan and I have spent a lot of time talking about this today because interest rates are so low, uh, because we think inflation is going to go a lot higher, at least a lot of uh, experts like Dr. Jeremy Siegel think we're going to see a lot of inflation in the future. You're probably going to need more in the stock market than you've had normally. Now, in the past, Ryan, a lot of financial advisors use the rule of thumb of 100 right? What do you do? You take your age and you subtract it from 100 and that's your asset allocation. What do you think of that idea? I, I dislike it, Bob. It's, it goes with that category of rule of thumbs. We don't like rule of thumbs. It, and it's really a customized thing. And I think what you have to ask yourself is what, what is your number? Because everyone's allocation should be different. And depending on who you are, A, maybe you need much less risk in the stock market. You're taking more risk than you need. And we don't believe in taking more risk than you ever need. Or you're on the other side of the spectrum where maybe, whoa, that market decline was brutal. My assets got destroyed. Mm -hmm. I'm taking too much risk. So for every single person, you need your own balance. You need your own number for what you need to have in the stock market. Yeah. So there isn't any one number. It's like, oh, if you're 50, you should have 50% of your money in the stock market. Maybe you need yeah. 70 at this age that, and because you're an aggressive saver. Or maybe you have a lot of equity, you have a lot of assets. Maybe it should only be 30 or 40. So there isn't any one number. And that's what you'll, you'll see that in, in you know, financial advertising, financial propaganda, telling you they have a one size fit all solution. Certainly not the case, Rebecca. You need a plan. You need a unique strategy, a unique asset allocation. The percentage of equities that's perfect for you is the percentage of equities that's perfect for you, Rebecca. And we need a plan to figure out what that is. Thank you, Rebecca, for writing in. Our next question is from Paul in Wayne, New Jersey. Paul says, Ryan, I have enough cash in the bank that I could get by without taking any IRA withdrawals this year. I could live off of my Social Security and just spend down my bank account. Would that be a good idea? Seems like I wouldn't pay any taxes if I did it that way. Well, Paul, I don't know your age, but you might not have to take your distribution this year, even if you're over 72, because you're getting a pass from the government this year. So how often do we get a pass from the government? <laughs> and if you're only drawing your social security right now, I'm gonna suspect you're in a low tax bracket. And again, you should talk to a tax advisor about this. You gotta do all this stuff with your tax advisor involved, your CPA. But because you're in a low tax bracket and you don't need the money from your IRA, it might be time to consider that Roth conversion we talked about earlier in the show, where with very little tax, you could take some of the money out of your retirement accounts and put them into a tax-free account where the money's tax-free for the rest of your life. So it sounds to me like it's a good time to do some tax planning for you, Paul. Yeah, it really is, right? I can't believe right? the IRS gave us that break where we do not have to take a mandatory distribution from the IRA. And in a lot of cases, that's a lot of money that would go to the 
to the IRS that's going to stay in your portfolio and keep compounding, which would allow you to take less risk in your portfolio going forward. So, you know, I hate that term win-win, but boy, Rye, is this a win-win for everybody? Yeah, it is. And I think we've just harped on this all show today. Look, with all the uncertainty, with the markets down and not knowing where things are going to go in the short term, the ones you can control right now are taxes. And there's just so many creative things you can do. Like there's no reason you shouldn't be talking to your financial advisor in concert with your accountant and looking at all the things you can do from a tax perspective. Um, I know even on my personal account, I've made a lot of these moves already. And it's like, you should be doing it too. Like this is the time because you can get less return on your money, but if you optimize your taxes, it's all about what you take home. It's not what you make, it's what you take. And this is the time to do that analysis more than ever, Bob. Well, I know you love the, the color green, Ryan. You always tell me the money you save me in taxes is just as green as the money I make in the stock market and the bond market. So uh, I think this is a, a advice that's uh, well given. So Ryan, I got a question for you. In, in, in terms of being financially organized, on a scale of one to 10, what would you give Paul and Rebecca? I feel like they need advice. They're thinking though. They're thinking about all the right questions and I actually appreciate that. So now it's time to get a real game plan in place. So but I'm going to go with a four and a half, which is, that's benevolent for me. Right, that's really good, Ryan. I think I have a question for the rest of you out there. If, um, if Ryan were to rank your skills in terms of being financially organized, or if your spouse were to give a score on how well you're financially organized, uh, what score would they give you? Would you be a four or a five? Would you be a 10? And if not a 10, why wouldn't you want to be? Hey, if you're one of our next four callers and you've saved over 500,000 for retirement, Ryan and I will create for you your own 360 financial portal. Now this is a financial GPS, not unlike the one that's in your car right now, only this one will help you to map out where you're going financially and report daily on the progress of your journey to financial independence. It will define your financial timeline and the best, most efficient route to achieving all of your financial goals. It will put your financial life on autopilot and help you to avoid those financial potholes and dead ends of the typical cookie cutter financial plan that you get from a bank or an insurance company. It will update your net worth daily in real time and be ever present whenever you feel like looking at it. So, you know, you don't have to be at your plans beck and call, your plans at your beck and call when it's time for you to take a hard look. Because this way, you'll always know exactly where you are financially, but more importantly, you're gonna know exactly where you're going, when you're gonna get there, and how much risk you need to take. In addition, Ryan and I would like to review all of your statements. Now, I know we're all quarantined at home, and you don't really want to go to the post office, we have a secure email that you can send us in real time where we'll look over everything you own to be certain that you don't have a collection of investments. Remember that case we reviewed last week where that poor couple had 20, 25 statements spread over all over the place? They didn't know what they owned or why they own it? Well, here's your chance. You know, we're going to take that same information and break it down to be certain that you're not being penalized by having a collection of investments, that you have the three key elements of a successful portfolio strategy, that you're truly diversified across asset classes and within asset classes to give you the highest probability of success, that your costs are not eating up your return. You know, these firms are so good at hiding costs. They're experts at it. Well, we have x-ray vision. Better yet, Ryan's got tools that allow us to x-ray your portfolio and disclose where these hidden insidious costs are so that we can increase your return over time. And lastly, income. You know, income is so critical to a successful financial planning strategy. And it's something that we all have to do is we, we all have to replace that paycheck once it stops coming in retirement. We call that the income retirement gap. You got to fill that gap with repeatable, dependable income streams. And I'll tell you what, once you're retired, you have one goal. And that, to keep it that way, why would you want it any other way? And the best way to stay retired is to have an income plan. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan where we're going to answer that age-old question. Are you and your family going to outlive your money? Or is your money going to outlive you, utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over four decades? Can you believe it? For 46 years, we've been helping families just like yours, get from your financial point A to your goals, to your dreams, to your point B, with the least amount of risk and only the certainty that a fiduciary firm like Payne Capital Management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. While you're home quarantined, we set up a secure email 
If you're one of the next four callers, you have over $500,000 safe for retirement at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's your shot to get that second opinion. Make sure you're on track at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I want to make sure you're making good decisions right now, given all the uncertainty in the world. And that's why we put together our newest guide, Coronavirus Portfolio Survival Guide. You can download for free. We give you five different things you can do right now proactively to make sure you're in the best financial position. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish, the 555 555- 888. You can download our Coronas Portfolio Survival Guide. Get the best information about what you can be doing on your portfolio right now. Take advantage of the opportunity. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to the number 555-888. And now we have a very special guest on the show, My colleague, Bob's colleague, in the midst of getting her certified financial analyst certification, we have Jen, financial angel, on the phone today, or on video chat today, I should say. Jen, it's been a while we had you with us. I know. Good to good to see you guys. You know, always good to be seen. Yeah. Um, so Jen, you run all the operations at Payne Capital Management. You uh, help clients get to their goals. You are a very, very busy woman, so I appreciate you being on the show today. And this is our spotlight segment. Every week, what we do is we take a real financial plan we worked on, we break it down, and we talk about how we helped a person or a couple get on their path to financial freedom. So why don't you break down the case you recently worked on and what you did to help this couple get on track? Yeah, so when I first met with them pre-quarantine, so um, you know they are a couple in their 60s looking to retire. Um, have never run a financial plan, which I feel like I've said that a hundred times, um, which is crazy, right? I mean, you're working for 30 plus years and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I want to retire. Maybe I should think about what that looks like. So they never sat down to run a plan. Um, so we took a look at everything and basically they had stuff everywhere, like old 401ks, old IRAs, different taxable investments all over the place and really all in cash. Hmm. Uh, and various kind of cash instruments, different money markets. And I think their thought was, okay, if I'm in different money markets, maybe somehow it'll work out. Um, but really, you know, the, they knew they needed to be invested um, in order to be, you know, get to retirement and live through retirement so comfortably. Um, so that was the first thing. What yeah. Jim, I, can I ask you a question? It, it, were most of the, these accounts at banks? Were they with insurance companies? Were they brokerage firms or all the above? All the above. Mostly brokerage houses, you know, some banks, some CDs, some different money markets. But, you know, even their retirement assets were all in cash, right? Yeah, and that's, What's that doing for you? Sorry. Yeah, no, that's a great point, Jen. And I, I think this is really common right now. You might be sitting in cash. And it's a weird thing. You know, the markets had this big decline, but I think you're starting to realize that I actually have to get a return on my money. I can't sit in cash anymore. I need to retire. Mm-hmm. And that half percent I'm getting is just not going to cut it. And I think the big question for, for you right now is probably, but when do I get the cash to work, right? It's like, I have it, but I have no idea how to actually execute a plan. Yeah. And I think if, and if you're doing it on your own too, without help, that's just impossible right? It's impossible to figure out when to add cash in, what to invest in. So really, you know, obviously sitting down with us made a lot of sense and figuring out, you know, where the cash is going to go, how much cash can we generate? You know, what do you need to live off of and kind of work backwards from there? Well, you know, Jen, I've seen that a lot. I mean, since 2010, you know, there are folks who come in and say, well, you know, I was going to get to it. I was going to get to it. And all of a sudden it's 2020. So 10 years can go by while you're focusing on what are things that are really urgent in your life. And uh, the most important thing is getting his plan done and just keep procrastinating. Right. And, and now too, right. He might get kind of pushed into retirement early because of what's going on. So 
you know, really making sure we have cash to increase his cash flow to make sure we, he can actually supplement social security and pension. Cause that's not going to cover expenses. So, you know, we were able to kind of take everything and increase that cash flow to over $50,000 a year, which is huge, which means he can, you know, live comfortably and not have to touch principal on the portfolio. Yeah, I noticed that uh, you're able to increase income and it was just not just in getting a proper investment. But they had a, a lot of very expensive investment investments because they had small accounts spread out all over the universe. And in cash. I mean, you're paying yeah. to have it in cash. That makes no sense. And, and that's one of the big reasons you want to consolidate because if you consolidate everything under one advisor who's looking at everything, A, you're entitled to some discounts on your money. Uh, as opposed to having these little accounts where you're getting charged a premium on everything and you start to create for yourself one concerted plan because like that's what it's really about. Right. And the other thing is so that he recently, you know, in the midst of we're talking, he inherits this stock portfolio that was just, you know, not a portfolio, just like a hodgepodge of stocks. So, you know, what do I do with that? Um, the other thing is so you got cash on one hand and then just a random stock portfolio on the other. So there was no comprehensive investments. There was no comprehensive plan, no diversification. Mm -hmm. um, so really we're able to take all that, make sure they're more diversified, better cash flow, and, and cheaper investments in the long run, which is really all you need in retirement. Well, yeah, you know, sometimes they say, Jen, I'd rather be lucky than smart. They're so lucky to have found you now while, you know, the market's on sale because you've, you're going to have an opportunity to invest properly with money that has been invested improperly for a long time. And, um, you know, and that's, they'll, they'll learn to embrace volatility because I love volatile times. It gives us an opportunity to really get great returns going forward. Yeah, 100%. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> and for the record, Bob, we all wonder, you know, we're glad that you're lucky eh, and not, not smart. That's, that's a good thing. <laughs> um, Jen, great job. And I just, one thing I'll add to is, I mean, just like how much stress does it take off our clients and for you, if we know we have enough income coming in to match our expenses, like even with the market down, if you have the cash flow coming in, like to me, that is really having financial peace of mind. Like what a great thing to engineer for somebody. Yeah. And the big thing was too, you know, now I think I get a lot of questions like, okay, um, you know, what changes with our plan or do we need to change everything? And no, like we, we have a plan for these reasons, right? We have income for these reasons. So being in quarantine and having the coronavirus and you know us all working from home, like that doesn't change our philosophy and our plan. No, we just keep executing and that's the beautiful thing. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, like I need this kind of guidance, I need a game plan regardless of what kind of economic environment we're in, regardless if the market crashes, I know I'm gonna be okay, I've got the game plan. Well, look, here's your shot to do it. We have two slots left. If you call or text now and you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, myself, Bob, Jen Financial Angel, emphasis on angel, will run for you our total financial master plan. And we're going to do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review just like this where we look at everything. We set up a secure email. You can send us your documents while you're sitting there in quarantine. We're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal so we can do a full audit of your entire financial life and start breaking down all those really critical components. I mean, we're gonna look at everything from income. Let's get an income plan in place. You've gotta draw from your portfolio. Whether you're planning to retire, you're retired now, let's come up with a strategy where we optimize it, where we bulletproof that. Let's look at diversification. Look, you probably got hit hard with the market coming down. You may not have had the best plan in place. Well, guess what, it's not too late. It's the best time now to re-diversify, get your money protected, so the next time we have a big market crash, you're protected. We're going to show you how to safeguard your assets. And we're going to look at fees and taxes. There's a lot of hidden costs in these portfolios. If you have little accounts here, there, and everywhere, you're getting overcharged and you don't even know it. We're going to show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio, consolidate, bring down those hidden fees. And we're going to show you how to optimize for taxes. There's so many things you can do from a tax perspective right now. You can't miss the boat on that. This is the time to optimize your portfolio for taxes. We're gonna show you how to do that. So there's more money in your pocket and then we're gonna tie it all together into one total financial master plan and determine that very critical question. Are you gonna outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money gonna outlive you utilizing strategies now we have worked on for over 45 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk 
and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. If you're one of our next two callers, you only have two spots left, and you have over 500000 saved for your retirement, Rye, Jen, and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation, then there's no cost, but there's no plan. Let's you text or call right now, 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLANNYC. That's 844-PLANNYC. Well, another great show. Jen, it's been too long since we've had you on the show. And, you know, know. Not, <laughs> too, too long. You know, some of the listeners can't see you, but you got your pink blazer on. I mean, just operating, doing business, even though we're quarantined, like it's nobody's business. We can't appreciate you enough. Uh, you basically run our firm. So you're, uh, you are a star. But I appreciate you acknowledging that, but yeah. <laughs> and so humble. <laughs> <laughs> well, great show, Big Bob. I'm looking forward to seeing you back in Jersey, man. You're coming soon. It's going to be good to see you face to face. Well, I'll have my hazmat suit on, but uh, so I'll put a name tag on it so you know who I am. <laughs> I appreciate that when I pick you up at the airport. Well, another great show, great weekend, and as always, be bullish. Hey, this is Ryan Payne, co-host of No Pain, No Gain, financial radio and podcast. And if you're thinking to yourself, I need a game plan in these volatile times for my financial planning, well, you can get a second opinion. You can get a game plan with us. Simply go to www.paincm.com slash game plan. That's paincm.com slash game plan. We can help you out. Make sure you get you on the right track here in these volatile times. Make sure you're making right decisions for your retirement plan. You can check it out. Simply go to paincm.com slash game plan. That's paincm.com slash game plan. Check it out.